Okay, so Nomadic is a brand that I've reviewed quite a bit on this channel so far, and they sent me a little box with the Navigator 15 liter backpack with a little note that says slings inside backpack. Now I reached out to Nomadic and asked them if they were interested in working together and they sent me this. What I thought I would do is before I go through the testing process and do full length videos that are in depth with each product that's inside of here, I would do a quick first look and give you my general first impressions on the slings and the backpack that are in here. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have yet to even open this. I have yet to see it. The last time I heard or saw anything about the Navigator series from Nomadic is when they had their Kickstarter, which I didn't back. I wasn't a part of it, so I'm kind of really excited to see these because the Navigator line looks incredible, especially the 15-liter backpack, the 35-liter travel bag that they have, just the whole thing, the slings, and they came out with a new light series. Nomadic is just always coming out with new products. They're always expanding their current lines as well as keeping their old products and doing improvements. It's been pretty fun, not to mention the fact that they're working with my favorite YouTuber, Peter McKinnon, so all, of, all those products have been pretty good, especially the new 25 liter, which I did a video on, if you're interested, but we're here to talk about this. So one of the things I do like about Nomadic is their packaging is always, it's always nice, right? Like with the Peter McKinnon one, it came with the nice Pete's Pirate Life logo. This one, it says Nomadic, the most functional gear ever. I'm pretty excited because honestly, like I said, this backpack looked really good in the photos and I'll be honest with you, still looks really good. So this is the 15 liter nomadic navigator, right? So off the rip, what I'm noticing is it feels really nice. These materials, there's a nice blend of some like seatbelt material. You've got some nice like tarpaulin rubbery material. You got that nice Kodra or, or Cordura. I have to look into the full specs on that. You got lash points on the front. You've got a, what looks to be a really solid back channel with a luggage pass through pretty solid. Some really sturdy straps. The foam feels really good in these. You got a nice sternum strap, easily adjustable, nothing to hold the adjustable strap down. You got the nice little tag here, which has some nice information, which I'm sure we'll get into anyways. Nice zipper pulls. Overall, just the look of this bag on the outside, I got to admit, it looks pretty good. I like this quick access up here. It looks pretty solid. Overall, I think that the outside, the look, the feel, the materials, the back channel on this 15 liter bag, it looks pretty solid. Not to mention the fact that this is like the perfect size bag for me personally for work. Cause I'm usually bringing like a laptop, some notebooks, some notepads, some things like that for my work when I'm out doing my training and everything. So this is like a really nice bag. Not to mention the fact that it's starting to get a little cold, a little chilly. It's actually starting to get a little chilly here now. So being able to have a spot for my, my uh, jacket, that's what they're usually called jacket uh is kind of nice overall you got two handles on the bag you got ooh, almost handles all the way around two on the side one on the front it looks like all the zippers have a little spot where you can kind of put the zipper pull through for some extra security so that's pretty cool i dig that overall the whole outside aesthetic of this bag very minimal logo on here nomadic at the front a little nice secret pocket here that's kind of just tucked away. I'm very curious to get into this bag and I'm very curious to get into the testing process. Wow, these security things work really well or I'm just, there we go, or I'm just a child. Nice front pocket with a spot for a key clip. Overall, I'm pretty excited. This is a pretty solid and it's a pretty good size bag. Overall, like I said, the size, the 15 liter capacity on this, I'm pretty stoked. Okay, so the note said that the slings were inside the bag, so we're gonna unzip this and see oh you got a uh one of those little like accordion style so is this gonna be like a russian nesting doll is the next sling gonna be in here so this is i believe the 10 liter light sling and the reason i think it's the light is because the material is just slightly different from the navigator 10 liter sling this is either the 10 or the 6 liter and I'm pretty excited. Now, I'm a big fan of slings, especially ones like this where they have the ability to kind of have like that securement strap. This looks pretty solid. Now, slings are ideal for quick day trips, for quick commutes. If you're somebody that doesn't quite need a laptop or backpack of this size, but you still need to bring some items, I found that slings between the six and 10 liter range have been absolutely phenomenal for those kind of daily query 
quick trips, especially if you're someone that does commuting. When I lived in Boston and I took the commuting train, the, the, what is it called? The T, the T, spill the T, get on the T into Boston all the time. I never needed to bring a full backpack. And if I was doing quick like shoots or photos or anything like that, a nice little like small sling was kind of perfect for that, especially for work if you work in an office. But like I said, I wasn't always bringing my laptop home when I had my desk job. So I didn't always need a big backpack. So having a sling like this, especially one like of this size that has, again, two spots to grab onto, very nice zippers. I love the materials. This bag looks incredible. I don't know if this video is going to do it justice, but this looks sleek. I love the minimal design on this. I love the back channel here. Again, nice little luggage pass through for combining it with roller luggage, which is phenomenal. I'm eventually, now that I've dipped my toes into the roller luggage game, I'm going to have to try one of Nomadics. I think that's just next on the line. But overall, I'm very impressed with the first looks on this. And oh my God, you even have a spot here for the water bottle. I'm pretty stoked to try this bad boy out. Now the zipper is a three quarter and it is a Russian, <laughs> it is a Russian nesting doll situation because <laughs> there's another one. This is the one liter. Wow. The inside of this bag, I'm going to keep this as a little sizzle, but um, I'm already loving just the look of the organization on the inside of this bag. I'll give you a quick sneak peek with some B-roll, but I'm very, very excited to fully test that out, especially this 15 liter. So this is the one liter sling. Now this is basically a nice little fanny pack. Now I absolutely love one to three liter slings. I think they are the perfect addition because a lot of times, and this might, maybe if there's people that work for the airline watching, just be quiet about this, please. But a lot of times if I have my carry on bag, I can usually have this just kind of like on my hip where it almost looks like it's a part of the bag. And this is where I can put like my phone, my wallet, my keys. It's perfect for going through security because everything's in here. You just put on the conveyor belt, you have them right here, headphones, anything like that. I absolutely love little one liter slings. And I gotta be honest with you, this one has some really good internal organization by the looks of it. It looks pretty functional. Everything is blowing away. That's fine. We don't need it. I'll clean it up. I won't litter. It's got a couple different organization bits and it has the ability has the ability to expand. Expansion ability on slings, I think is always a nice addition because if you need just a little bit of extra room and it really does a good job of expanding this internal compartment. Now it looks like all you have is that one compartment on this with some organization, which I think is perfect. I think a lot of times these little one liter slings try to add too much organization on the outside and it eats up the dimension on the inside or it makes the, it just makes the whole sling like building it out just doesn't quite completely work for me. And I think that too much organization can sometimes be a bad thing. And I see that a lot with bags, especially from like cheaper made bags, like on Amazon and stuff where they just put as much organization with zero thought and zero like effort into it. And they're just like, well, spots for everything. And I just don't think you always need that. Now, one thing that I do really appreciate about Nomadic is you can tell a lot of thought goes into the organization on their bags and products, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. And overall, this one liter sling, it's got a nice buckle. It's got good organization, it looks like. Again, this material, it's from the light series. So this is probably, I'm gonna say this is probably the 10 liter or the six liter, but I'll find out for sure. I'm sure it'll be in the description of this video when I publish it. But overall, all three of these, I'm really, really excited to try out. I've got so many bags and so many products to try out. It's so much fun. I'm super excited that I get to share all of this with you. But I got to say out of all of these, the one I'm probably the most excited for is this 15 liter backpack because it has been a while since I've had a good, like smaller 15, 10 liter backpack that's really like kind of blown me away. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the ones I've viewed and tried have been good, but none of them have really like captured me. And I got to admit that I was skeptical. I'll be completely honest. I was skeptical about this, but I'm really excited to try it out because I'll admit back in the day, I had the original nomadic backpack and it just didn't do it for me. Their original travel pack, a lot of their original products just didn't do it for me. They were too boxy. They just didn't seem like they had the organization or the comfort factor that I was really looking for. But as I've seen Nomadic over the last few years really like grow their line and kind of expand on what they've done, I've seen a lot of improvements and a lot of the ones that I've seen just with the Peter McKinnon bags that I've tried have really blown me away. And just looking at all three of these just like off the rip, I am pretty excited. I'm just going to see if I can't get all these to stand up. This is a very like, this is a very last minute video. I'm leaving tomorrow for a week. So I'll be trying some of these out. And I was like, oh, 
I need to record something. So we recorded this. I said we. It's just me. Um, Max, my producer, my dog. You guys know. He's my producer. He's not here right now. He's on his own little adventure. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about my first impressions or anything about these bags in general right now, let me know down in the comments below. But like I said, keep in mind, I will be doing full in-depth videos over the, on these over the next couple weeks as I uh, try them out and get to test them and see how the organization, the comfort, the material, how they hold up in a day in the life and all of that wonderful ways that I like to test my bags out. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so very much for all the love and support. Thank you to Nomadic for sending me these products. I'm super excited. Thank you for trusting me with uh, these. I'm very excited. They look really good off the rip. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that wonderful nonsense. And with all of that being said, I will see you next time. Almost fell over.